Hey there, Jeffrey here, Sephora Beauty Director. Maisha, also Sephora Beauty Director. And one question that I remember getting constantly when you I was working in the store. I still get it. <laughs> I still get it really regularly, especially in the comments. It's mm -hmm. like, help, we have such a large number of lipsticks in store. How do I find the perfect lipstick for me? That'll change my life and pay my rent. Yeah. Put gas in my car. Exactly. <laughs> and so that question is really broad. And we yes. could literally sit here and talk to you for hours and hours on end. So we made it really kind of easy and broke it down into some kind of life situations mm -hmm. or the, the times you might want to wear lipstick, yeah. right? Like your everyday lip color. Like I get that question a lot. Or how do I find the perfect classic bold lip, mm -hmm. you know, that, that sort of that that confidence color. Mm -hmm. And then what about that party or trend lip? You know, like how can I do something fun or how can I switch up my current yeah. lip routine? Yeah, Jeffrey asked me what to wear to the grocery store. And I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna be different for every single person. So right. just kind of get your wheels turning about what your lifestyle is like and what kind of person you are and get in the right mindset. Uh, Cause I feel like we're gonna have like a lip therapy session. Yeah. Uh, so stay tuned. And at the end, we'll give you some tips and tricks on how you can shop um, like either at home or in store and how to kind of make the shopping experience for lips a little bit easier for you. Mm -hmm. To find the perfect everyday lip for you, you have to really look at what your everyday looks like, right? Yeah. So I, I think generally they tend to be like lighter textures. I think they tend to like kind of balance the actual lip tone. Or... Yeah, I think it's, it's supposed to represent the epitome of the best you. Mm -hmm. um, however that may be, you know, for me, it's usually sort of a tinted balm. I really love a Dior tinted balm. The matte pink is just sort of like my ideal every day, what I want my lips to look like uh, without much effort. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody else, their sort of everyday lip may be a red because they may mm -hmm. not feel like themselves without a red. Uh, typically, it's usually more of a natural color though or a natural feeling texture. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe more of a balm, a gloss, or a gloss balm like the Sephora Collection gloss balm, something that's like super versatile for every day. That almost kind of like works with your natural lip color and sort yes. of enhances it, right? It's yeah. like that enhancing lip mm -hmm. color. Or if maybe your lips are very bright and you want to calm that down a little bit but you still really like the sort of overall look of it, maybe you're gonna go for something sort of a sheer and kind of nude color. Uh, like we have these, these Pat McGrath Labs Lust Lip Glosses and they come in a ton of colors. They have a really nice buttery texture. I have the aphrodisiac color which is this beautiful pink actually. I think this might be it, am I right? I'm right. Yes. We, have, we have a bunch of lip glosses all laid out. I have a good eye. Um, but I actually really love this too is sort of like the lip gloss I can grab and go because it looks like my lip color but better because for mm -hmm. me on my everyday, I don't really wear a lot of makeup so this red may not work with a bare face and just mascara. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it should work with what you're willing to do every day and I'm willing to put in like 2% effort for every day, <laughs> yeah. non-working days. So that works for me. Yeah, um, like somebody, and then based off of tone, like you like kind of like these sort of like cooler, nude shade. Mm -hmm. Like a blue base, like very light pink. Yeah, but it's maybe somebody like me, I might like something that's a little bit more energetic, like this one, like Peach Perversion here, which has got sort of like a warmer tone to it. Mm -hmm. So, and then that's that fluctuates too. It's really about, again, what makes you feel the most confident for your day to day. Yeah. That's that's really what the Avery did. I would say the easiest way to pick that is just to look uh, inside your mouth right mm -hmm. on the rim of your, your mouth and look at the color that's there. Sometimes mm -hmm. people have really pale lips, but inside their mouth is this like sort of like fleshy pink or fleshy peach or a berry tone or something of that nature. And that's usually something you kind of want to match to the lip gloss. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a very easy way to do it. Or if you're going for more of a nude sort of like washed out color, it's always 10 times easier to try gloss. I always tell people that, they ask me all the time like what nude to wear. Gloss is easier because it's more sheer, just like it's easier to wear a tinted moisturizer versus right. a full coverage foundation because you don't have to wear a lip liner and do all this and do extra things to it that's the easiest way to go so try to find a lip gloss or hydrating balm uh, that works for you and also the shine level yeah because if you're, I'm guessing, I don't have any kids, I'm a dog mom, but if you have kids and you're picking them up, maybe you don't want a lip gloss, maybe you just yeah. want a balm because it's going to stick to your hair. Lifestyle, again, like yeah. when you're looking for the everyday lip product, is like, does this product 
fit into my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. That's really what you want to bring forward. You want to bring lifestyle choices forward to your consultant to help you find the right color or the right product, right? Yeah. And okay. also, if you just like super random, but if you normally wear a dark lip color and you kind of, I, I have friends that normally wear like oxblood and then they want a natural color and mm -hmm. then they feel naked. Uh, I'm just, I'm staring at it. So it's coming out of me. This is mm -hmm. uh, Flesh Fantasy. Mm -hmm. And this is a really great color if you normally wear something kind of dark. Or this one is Flesh Astral, I believe. No, Bronze Temptation. And this is a really gorgeous one. So you can give yourself something more full bodied and still kind of have that everyday look. Totally. So let's go into classic. Okay, cool. So the next lip category that we hear a lot about is like, I want to I want to have that classic bold statement lip, yeah. right? And when you think about that, I oftentimes think of like, I get vintage references a lot, I get red carpet references a lot, but really I think it's like, what is that color or that, that, that lip that's going to make you feel your most bold or confident, yeah. you know? I think uh, exactly like when you think of a bold classic lip color, people always go to like these like 40s, 50s references. And, mm -hmm. and not everybody wants to wear red. I think there is a red for everybody. Mm -hmm. I didn't wear red for a very, very long time because I didn't find one uh, that worked for me. I know people are going to ask, so it's Stila uh, Besso Shimmer uh, is my color. And it just works for me because I think it's a really beautiful color. But sometimes I feel like when I want to feel my most fierce, I wear a dark metallic berry. Mm -hmm. That's classic me. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the whole everyday lip color is like what are your what is your ideal sort of like imagination representative uh, part of yourself? on your kind of lazy days off. And then right. what is your ideal, like, I got my stuff together today. I put myself together, I'm ready, I'm and here. And kind of think of like what Manifested. you look like in that sense. <laughs> yes. And for everybody, it, may, it probably for me, it's not a red lip, it's more of a dark, super bold, berry lip, I feel my best, I look my best, and that's something that I like to do. So when we're talking about that sort of classic lip color, the thing that's classically you, again, we're having a Pat McGrath moment. So these mm -hmm. are the Pat McGrath Labs Matte Trance Lipsticks. Mm -hmm. I wear Flush 3 quite a bit. I feel like it's so a really pretty. beautiful sort of combination of red and brown mm -hmm. together. Uh, so there's absolutely gorgeous. And this is obsessed. Ugh. The texture is very classic. I think it's um if you it's were like to, a powder cream powder blue, yeah right? if you were like to think of matte. a classic lipstick a traditional lipstick but more of a, a modern staying powder sort of a modern wear you would think of something like this it's very comfortable on the mouth too so it's very easy to wear all day and really good in photos sometimes it's hard to smile when I have a liquid lip <laughs> on uh, so if you're taking a lot of photos you might want to go for a traditional type of bullet. And I think when you think of the classic lip, it's really actually to think that the, the lip is sort of the statement or the focus of the look, yes. right? Like that's really, so with this type of lip category, this is the one that you might put a little bit more effort into or you might maintain throughout the evening. This is the lip, the one that you go into the mirror and touch up throughout the evening. Mm -hmm. Like that, this is the the high maintenance lip color, right? Yeah. But it doesn't have to yeah. really be high maintenance. And for but me, you know what I mean. exactly. I could, I You're committed. want my lip to look high maintenance, but I literally do not want to touch it all night or all day uh so this is also really great for me because i feel like it gives me that like really nice soft wear and mm -hmm. it's flexible but i don't really have to mess with it at all you can see the texture here is really beautiful it's kind of like a demi matte cream yeah it and as yeah. it sits on the lips, I, it pulls in a little bit more of the moisture. Yeah, I would say mm -hmm. if you've ever put um, translucent powder over your lipstick through a tissue, that old trick that people do mm -hmm. to make it matte, this is exactly what that texture is without having to do that. Yeah, That's totally. That's the easiest way to totally. think of it. Um, and I think overall, like what we're trying to do is kind of to get you in the mindset of how to choose your lip color. Because I think lip color is really emotional. Mm -hmm. um, and it just depends on what kind of mood you're in, what kind of person you are, how uh, fierce you're feeling. Maybe Where you're going. If you're having occasion. a d good day, maybe you want to wear red. If you're having a really bad day, maybe you want to wear red. It just mm -hmm. kind of depends on how you approach situations. Okay, and so the last lip that we have or the last client that I always seem to come coming in is kind of like that trendy client or mm -hmm. the one who's like headed out to parties. She's wanting to try something <laughs> fun and new. Mm -hmm. Like Back in my day when we party, we didn't wear <laughs> lipstick. We wore eyeshadow. Yes. So... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It was I all about it. the yellow and blue eyeshadow and yeah. no lip. But and I, 
now there's all kinds of crazy bold colors floating around there. There's like greens and blues and blacks and purples. Yeah. I'm loving it. I think the cool thing now is you kids are lucky. You guys have so many lipstick formulas and innovations and really cool textures uh, mm-hmm. that you can wear something. You can wear a really simple eye and have this like really crazy bold lip. And especially when you're in those night lights, you want something kind of sparkly uh, to sort of uh, reflect light. So mm-hmm. I Going to the club. You know me, festival. Really, love. really love these new Bite Crystal Creme. Uh, they're shimmer lip crayons. Uh, so if you're familiar with their regular creme uh, lip crayons, these have this really beautiful shimmer in them. And the cool mm. thing about them, too, is they're encapsulated, so you don't feel them at all on your lips and they're absolutely gorgeous colors and the fact that they're so reflective i've ombre a few of them and put on like one two or three at a time and they're just Mm -hmm. so so pretty if you look at the winter glow video we did with melinda uh we use the fuchsia one which is called fuchsia frosting and it was just so pretty like she didn't really have much makeup on just a little sparkle and some concealer and this really tied it together so this can also be um one of those things like i didn't really do much work but it looked like i did a lot of work type Mm -hmm. of lip because people are going to ask you if you layered three or four things to get this effect but it's just one thing yeah and this category also kind of i think encompasses a lot of those like sort of lip accessories right like Mm -hmm. toppers and you know specialty glosses yeah it's a very easy way to do things that have been complicated in the past or have been like I, I mean I love ritual I love combining things and coming up with things and a lot of times I feel bad that you guys are asking me what lip color I have and I'm like it's 17 yeah. things I'm so yeah. sorry uh, so this is a really great way to try trend so this one is really cool because uh, this one is rose glacé and it is the same metallic texture as the other ones that are a little bit more bold but it is so pretty you it's can like put it on gorgeous. full coverage or you can put it on and just kind of rub it into the lips you get this sort of sheer metallic situation too. Right. Um, so it's wow. also just a random tip. Just because a lip color is full coverage doesn't mean you have to put it on mm-hmm. as a full coverage. A lot of you ask what nude lip I wear, and then you say you bought the same one. It doesn't look the same. It's probably because you put too much. I put a wash of nude liquid lipstick on when I wear it usually, and I still want my lips to show through. If mm-hmm. your lips have a lot of um, dimension underneath, I have a very light bottom lip and I kind of have a natural lip liner thing going on. Like I wouldn't use it to my advantage, so I want my lip to show through. Um, so I don't have to go in with lip liner if I don't want to, or a lighter lipstick in the center of my lip if I don't want to. So that's another tip as well. When you're trying these really cool, bold colors, they're advanced formulas, so they have a ton of pigment, but you don't have to put on a ton of lipstick to get the look you want. And that's what I love about these ones too is they're actually infused with that orange peel oil. Yes. So it's really great for like durability, hydration. It's that same formula that you know and love from Bite Beauty and the matte lip crowns but now with that metallic finish. Yeah. And I also feel like if you have textured lips naturally this might be a great formula to try over some other Mm -hmm. liquid lipstick ones that tend to just kind of um, feel a little bit like they're accentuating certain color. This is a really great way a workaround to Mm -hmm. sort of try the trend. Yeah. So a great tool that we have uh, that we have both worked on over the years uh, is one is virtual artists and one is a lip IQ version of color IQ. So if you know your color IQ number, you can easily type this in. But if you don't, go and sort of get your match. Mm-hmm. And it means more than just foundation, even if you're not in the market for a foundation at the moment. Like I'm a 1YL9 or 1YL10, depending on how I feel. And you're like a 1YL5. 2 2YL5. 2 and what that is, I, I would love to tell you it was scientific, but it's literally just us running around the store and sort of using all the expertise that we have in like okay someone who has yellow undertones but is maybe around like a six depth wise what kind of pinks would they really like Like, what would they uh really enjoy what might look a little garish or like disharmonious with their skin tone Mm -hmm. and we would omit things like that or you know if it was very deep skin with uh, red undertones like what reds look really really good with that particular skin tone Uh, and we gathered everything up and it was so grassroots we gathered everything everything up and we would put these lipsticks in a bin and give it to someone who worked at Sephora who happened to be that particular shade number. I think we got like a 90% success rating with like, I would actually wear this lip color. It really works for my skin tone and it's something that I really, really enjoy. We have it broken down by reds, plums, berries, unconventionals. If you're more of like a funky fun person, you want to try like some lime greens or blues or maybe some like blue sparkly colors or something like that. Uh, So that's a really great tool for you to use to be able to sort of navigate the store it's really fun to do with friends i find because you can all get color iq'd and sort of choose lip colors based on that yeah and then to take it a step further we've actually incorporated
integrated that into the virtual artist program. So you can actually try lipsticks on virtually in the comfort of your own home right now. All you have to do is open the Sephora app, go to the virtual artist tab, and you can literally swipe through thousands of lipsticks based off of your preference and yeah. your desire, which is really cool. Yeah, there's more than just lips in there, but mm -hmm. um, it kind of looks like a little social media makeup filter yeah, that totally. you do. <laughs> and again, like I sacrificed, I think I tried on about like a thousand lipsticks within like one to week. Make sure they to match. make sure they match. We had they... to make sure that it looked the same yeah. in real life <laughs> that it does on yeah. that app for you, okay? Yeah, so maybe if you, for instance, I was talking about one of the Pat McGrath lipsticks in Flush 3, you can go in and type in Pat McGrath and look up Flush 3 and see how it would look on you uh, mm -hmm. as you're watching this video if you would like. Uh, so it's something really cool that you can do just to sort of get an idea of what you want uh, as you as you search for lipsticks. There's also many makeovers. Yes, so that's the last thing is yeah. that there's nothing nothing beats going into a store, yeah. meeting with a consultant and really having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone about the perfect lip choice for you at the moment, right? And actually since that's a free service, I mean you can just stop by any store whenever you feel like mm -hmm. it. And I would say tip to you, um, no one wants to try on more than like three lipsticks realistically no, uh -huh. one your face will get red and you won't be able to tell if you like it um mm -hmm. so something that we do in store Ooh, do when we news. don't want to do a ton of trying on but we really want to figure out what the person likes is we use the fingertips so the fingertips are way closer i know people do this all the yeah. time the top of your hand has like pretty much no flush to it like your lips do but your fingertips have a, a lot of blood, blood running well. through them so what you can do is just go ahead and apply lipstick to your fingertips and then hold it up to your mouth and that'll narrow it down so you don't have to like put things on and remove them and things are long wear nowadays it could take forever to get certain yeah. lipsticks off so you're just going to hold it up to your lip and you can kind of see with your entire face how you're liking something and how you uh want to wear it and also wear your makeup the way you would when you're wearing a lip color don't mm -hmm. come in with a black smoky eye because things are going to get a little funky and <laughs> you're probably <laughs> you're probably not going to like your red lip if you're wearing a, a super black or green smoky eye or something so I come in either with ne very little makeup on or what you would do when you were wearing that lip color that you're searching for i love it now as always if you have any questions in particular about oh, any of questions. the questions yes i know you have questions <laughs> so be sure to shout out those questions in the comment yeah. section below you guys are going to be asking us what's my perfect lip we're totally ready to answer <laughs> um and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already be sure to do so because we've got a lot of fun content headed yeah. your way for the rest of the year we've got a huge pipeline planned for you get excited yeah. and we'll see you next time ciao Bye. for now <laughs>